Mangi, the M in PPMD, and we're here at my home on Long Island in the state of New York, here in the United States of America. Anywho, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my vinyl collection. Um, I swear by these things. You know, when vinyl went away for a little bit in the 90s and probably the early part of the 2000s, I kept collecting, <laughs> I kept going, and I kept listening. Some are signs, some aren't signs. Um, I'm fortunate to know a lot of these dudes and, and befriend them and colleagues of mine, which is, uh, which is awesome. But I have a lot of 70s specific vinyl. Everything from Nugent to James Brown to Marvin Gaye to George Harrison to Sabbath to Purple to Status Quo to the list goes on and on and on. Um, I'm into all kinds of music. And on vinyl, you get that warmth, you get that clarity, um, you get that feel. Um, and as great as digital music is and as great as streaming is, some might agree, some might not agree on streaming, um, I'm a vinyl purist. As you can tell, I have my Ampeg amp over here. Good old red, my bass, my vinyl collection, record player right behind me. Every day, I plug in my bass, I play, I'll put on a record, and I'll play to it. Just like I did when I was younger, learning in my formative years, I still do that today. Uh, listening to vinyl, trying to pick apart, trying to strengthen my ears with, with playing, and just trying to really hone in uh, on my craft, which is bass over here. And uh, I have it all set up where I have headphones going into either my amp, or I have an ed headphone out on the speakers here, so I can hear the music coming through my ears, and with the bass, I can just feel the bass, so I don't really need headphones for that. And on the BPMD American Made record, of course, we cover that. The first single was my first pressing, Aerosmith Toys in the Attic. Now, Cactus, I have Cactus on vinyl. Uh, I have the first two records. I don't have the third record on vinyl, which is a uh, Restrictions. However, I have this, Hell and Wolf. This is a reissue, and the song Evil originally appeared on this in 1954. So I have that version of Evil on vinyl. Of course, one of my favorite records of all time, Trace Ombre's Easy Top. One day I will get Billy to sign this, <laughs> but I listen to this religiously. I have a ton of Skinner records, but I wanted to pull this version out. Um, I love their version of Say, and I have special on here live. Uh, this is one of my favorite live records of all time. Killer, killer vinyl. Of course, Van Halen 2, DOA. James Gang, thirds. I actually got this in England, in uh, Birmingham, England. I bought this. Believe it or not, you can tell by the pound. British pounds over there. Grand Funk Railroad were an American band, but back then they were called simply Grand Funk. There was no railroad in their title. And again, as you can see by some of the video I took, uh, I'll give you a quick overview. Uh, and again, everything from Thrash Metal. I have all those 80s Thrash records in here, SOD, all the early Slayer, Def Jam recordings. I have first pressings of uh, Rain and Blood on Def Jam, which is awesome. Uh, Hell Awaits on Metal Blade records. I have all those to Anthrax, to, to early Metallica. Um, as you can see hanging on my wall, I have my Kill em All signed by James, Kirk, Lars, and Cliff, which is my most prized possession. Uh, that hangs, that's never to be played. Um, and I have it so the vinyl is not ruined, so it's um, all done professionally. So if I ever do remove it from the frame, uh, nothing will get damaged on a record. And I keep a lot of my records in sleeves. Um, I'm big into the sleeves. It protects the record, especially those, some of that are signed, some are not signed. The first pressings are delicate. Uh, some of these records are 40, 50 years old, uh, if not more. And um, I'm, like I said, I'm a huge, huge vinyl person. And to this day, I'm buying vinyl um, from some of my newer favorite bands to older favorite bands. I still buy and um, I encourage everyone to support your local music store. Go to that indie shop, buy a vinyl, and get lost in it. That's just get lost in, in looking around at all the different vinyl. Even the things I don't 